Is it getting dangerous to be long stock market indices? That's what we're going to talk about in this short video. Earlier today, we had uh, PMI figures out from the euro area, and this afternoon we have some numbers out from the US. If we look here at the uh, flash services PMI for the euro area, uh, it uh, was slightly better than expected, 48.6 versus uh, the 48 anticipated, uh, and the manufacturing PMI was actually like higher at 47.3 um, versus 46 expected. And whenever these numbers are below 50, that means that we're seeing a contraction in that specific sector. And what we're seeing here in the service sector for the euro area is that we are in contraction. In fact, we've been below uh, that 50 level since summer of 2022. And because they're still raising interest rates, it's likely that this will continue to be negative over the next couple of months. In fact, people think we're going to see uh, a bottoming out process maybe uh, by the end of the first quarter. We, if we look as well at the UK figures, it's looking rather similar. Um, in the case of uh, the UK economy, uh, the service sector is the most important one. Now, today's number was better than expected, but still below that 50 level. And later today, we'll have similar figures for the US. Uh, where we are just now approaching that zero line. So we are heading towards a slowdown in the world, as particular in the US, we are in a recession in the UK, but also likely in, in Europe as well. So with that in mind, you know, being long something like the Dow Jones around these levels is probably not the best idea. Um, but why are we trading up here? Well, it's because when we were down here, Everybody was talking about the pending recession. And I think that what happened at that point is that everybody was extremely bearish. You could also see how people were positioned in the options markets that people had bought a lot of protection for a move to the downside. Um, but that did not uh, happen. Instead, the market turned bullish as I think people were unwinding their short positions and as well as we were seeing inflation coming down. And that's obviously really, really important. But the thing here is that we have gained without really any strong correction, up with about 19.4%, and we're just below this major high. I think what's going to happen next is we're probably going to spike above that level and possibly you know, get short positions stopped out. But I will be very careful, again, buying up here. If anything, I think it's going to be a false break to the upside, and then a few days later, push lower. What is different now as well compared with when I talked about this uh, a couple of weeks ago, is that the S&P 500 is now nearing the upper ends of its channel, and it would be fair to assume we maybe go up to 40.69 or so, um, but not trade much higher than 41.72. What's also different this time around is that the fear and greed index is actually at overbought levels. It's as bullish as it was in August uh, 2022, and higher, more greedy than it was in April this year, and as well as it was around December 31st of last year. So the way things are looking right now, people are getting a bit too bullish. And it's always interesting, you know, there's some people there that, you know, very, very vocal, followed by a lot of people. And these same people and gurus that were telling us that the world was going to collapse and we should be bearish around these lows are now shifting their tone. And instead of looking at the fact that we're probably going to have a recession in the next couple of months. They're talking more about what's going to happen beyond the recession, because of course, after the recession, you get a boost and, and, and people are trying to say, okay, maybe that's why we're at these levels and that's why we should be bullish. But again, I disagree with that view. Um, if we do know anything about the second half of 2022, it's been more choppy than anything else. So with that in mind, I don't think the Dow Jones is just going to keep on going, going higher. Uh, I do think it's time for a bit of a pullback. So I would not be bullish at these levels. What do you think? Leave your comments below.